Hello everybody, in this tutorial I wanted to go over how to fix red eyes in Lightroom. So a method that isn't quite good would be to take saturation and bring it all the way down. And you can see it works for this image, but let's say you have another image where you have other things in the image that are red. Uh, you don't want to take the saturation away from those red things, you just want to take it away from the eye. So I'm going to reset the saturation and show you guys a better method. So over here in the top right corner, there's an adjustment brush. You can click on it. And for this demonstration and something I recommend is bringing the exposure all the way up. So when you mask things, I'll just show you right here. You'll be able to see what you're masking. I'm just going to undo that. Um, so exposure at four. Size depends on the image you're working with. So to change the size, just scroll up and down on the mouse wheel. Feather flow and density you leave at 100 and once you do that all you need to do is just paint over the red part of the eye the part that is really red and shouldn't be so red okay just you don't need to be so precise but being precise does help um you'll get a better result if you are more precise okay just take your time with it, but you don't need to be too exact. Just going to make sure I have everything. Okay, and then after that, you can hold Alt, change the size a little bit, and paint over the eyelashes just in case you see how I got a little bit of the eyelashes in there. You don't want that. Um, so just paint over it to fix it. Remove it from the selection. All right. Cool, cool. All right, once you do that, we isolated the red part of the eye, but you want to just target a specific color. And here's a tool that a lot of people in Lightroom don't use. It's called the range mask. So to target that specific color, you go to range mask, color. You can also do luminance, but for this tutorial, we're working with color. Um, now you want to bring the exposure back to zero. So we know what we're working with. You take the color range selector and you just drag it over the red part of the eye. You're not going to see anything once I click off, but we're going to make some changes later. So we got that selection right here. If you want to make another selection, all you need to do is just hold shift and drag over another part. Uh, it's good to have one or two selections. You don't want to go too overboard. Two is just to make sure. So now that we got our selections, you want to go over to amount Hold Alt and just drag it back and forth. Find a value that works best. Um, there's no specific value that works the best. It just depends on how you mask the image. Um, so sometimes zero could work, sometimes 100 could work, but I'm just gonna keep it at 50 and see if that works. You could always change it later. And after that, all you need to do is take your saturation and bring it down. So I wouldn't bring it all the way down to 100 because it's going to make it look unnatural because there's always a little bit of redness in the eye because of the veins. So I would just bring it down. I found a good value that is uh, like 75. So I'm just going to put it at 75. So here's the before, here's the after. As you can see, it cleans it up very well. You might have a little bit of artifacting, but... No one's going to notice unless you pixel peep, and even then, it's very hard to notice. If I just show you this image and told you that I didn't edit it at all, you'd probably believe me. As you can see, the only mistake I could see is this, and it's it's very, very not noticeable. So, it's a very great method to fix red eyes, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.